So today we are going to try TikTok cookie recipe. I might start a cookie shop. Oh! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Foodie. Yes, it's me alone today and I'm Cindy. Alright, today we have another experimental chef. But today I will be a baker. Why? Alright, so that's another recipe. I got this recipe from a popular app. It's called TikTok. So today we are going to try TikTok cookie recipe. I found a recipe that is really appealing to me, which is matcha cookie. Brown butter matcha cookies. Okay, you guys, these are actually some of the best cookies that I've ever had in my life. The secret is browning the butter, and if you've never done it before, it adds such a nice nutty and toasted flavor that pairs perfectly with the matcha. You really have to try it. It's so easy and it makes the cookie really special. These are the ingredients that we need to prepare. But today, we are going to do a twist to it. So let's bring out the ingredients. Okay, everything assembled. Let's get to the measurement. We have the matcha, baking soda, salt, butter, etc. etc. But before that, today our secret ingredient will be curry leaf powder. So this curry leaf was given by my aunt. And then we blend it out and stir fry it. So today, without anyone knowing, uh, I'm going to make curry leaf cookie. Now I've heard before, right? Me too. The color of matcha and curry leaf is somewhat in the green spectrum, which I'm wearing today. And it's a team for today. Yes, I'm very excited to know how you they feel about cookies so let's get into magic now so I have a cookie flour uh, the recipe says using like all-purpose flour but I have cookie flour so why not baking soda one and a half teaspoon Oh my god, it's starting to rain! Oh. Okay. We are going to add in the matcha flour later on because I do want to make curly leaves. If we have extra, we want to make chocolate cookies and matcha cookies. Whisk this thing up first. Sugar. Oh, by the way, do you guys prefer chewy cookies or crunchy cookies? For me personally, I love crunchy cookies. We are quite done with our measuring now. So let's brown our butter now. Browning the butter is a secret recipe for making good cookies. So let's brown our butter in a saucepan over a medium heat. It's supposed to form like white clumps on top of it so we're going to let it simmer for a while over medium heat I think it's somewhat like that and it's done set it aside to let it cool down Everything assembled with us right now, so let's get into the whisking. Cold butter, sugar mixture. Mm. It's so very good. It is how it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to melt. I should use a bigger 
vegetable and see. I think it's alright now. Like the color is lighter. Yes, I'm going to separate into three. The power of agaration comes in. We shave half a teaspoon of matcha powder, cocoa powder. Last but not least, it will be curry powder. Curry lips. For the matcha, I will add in white chocolate. For the chocolate, I will add in more chocolate chips. For this, I think I will add in white chocolate later. I think it will taste quite weird, right? supposed to mix the flour first, right? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Is it too green? Final part, let's shape it. I will shape the chocolate one first. Okay, we have all the cookies here, and I'm just gonna add some white chocolate on top of the curry <laughs> it's like broken toast on a cookie add a few chocolate chips onto the chocolate cookie I love chocolate it's big for 175 degrees for around 50 minutes and the chocolate is like kind of molten inside mm. very nice oh I like it the outer crust is kind of crispy and the inside is like soft so hard in the, on the outside and soft in the inside well, I, I'm just going to eat the other half and the matcha one honestly speaking if you tell me this is the matcha one, I would believe But the smell is quite strong from it It's more like a pistachio colour This like a dark green I think it's like brownish Brownish Let me try it Hmm. Oh That is really good the white chocolate is a perfect match with the matcha cookie and it's sweet but it's not overly empowering sweet 
You're so nice. Oh my god. I can't believe like oh I might start a cookie shop. Oh the last and ultimate one. Uh curry lips. Mmm. Hey. Not bad. It's so refreshing. It's like slightly salted. Then because of the white chocolate. Oh it sucks. Wow guys. Actually it's really good. Oh my you should try. You should try it. Chocolate one definitely go for it. The matcha one, not very nice. But you must have the white chocolate in it and the curry leaves one, guys. I'm a genius. <laughs> oh my god, really? And I'm going to call up Brian to let him try. It. So let's see. All right. So today I have three cookies in front of you. Okay. So you are going to tell me what's the flavor of it. All right. And read it according to their taste. Okay, so tasting time. The smell test first. Try. This for sure, I think it's matcha. Definitely matcha. Yes, correct. But the white color thingy, I think it's white chocolate. Of I course. Alright, so have a dip it like your typical American style. This I think is okay. This okay. I know this is really. This smells very familiar. Some kind of beef. I think you used to make it like in a in a dish we made earlier, like one of the episode. What is that? I think it's curry, curry leaf. Ah. Yes. It smells like curry. <laughs> it going Indian style. Ah. Interesting. Interesting taste, right? Interesting. Yeah, I've never heard curry leaves cookies before. It has a very deep taste to it, right? Like, it's like very unique, like I would say. It's not something you would try usually. But it's very nice. Yeah, not bad. I might sell these cookies. Ha <laughs> Alright, so this is the last one, right? I think it's like a typical standard, your cookie, la, typical chocolate standard cookie. So let's try original first, like. So I think this one is the typical chocolate cookie but I think this is like actually a soft cookie not like instantly those uh, crunchy type cookie So yeah, I think it's a, it's a soft crunch lah but then I love the fact that the cookie actually has those huge chunks of uh, chocolate chips in it So yeah, I think like each bite is a very good chocolate bite like I would say So I have to keep it like American style and yep mm. Thank you Thank you guys for watching and I hope you like it. So if you would like to try it, yes, go ahead and try it because it's quite easy to make. And if you try it, please tag us in our social media platform at Fooding Channel. And I'll see you in the next episode of Fooding. Guys, hold on there and we will pass this pandemic and quarantine. Bye-bye!